In today's video, I'd like to walk you through getting a podcast started here at Castos. Whether you're a brand new customer trialing our 14-day trial period, or you're an existing customer who's launching another podcast in your account, because by the way, you can host unlimited podcasts, unique shows right inside your account, whether that's public podcasts, private podcasts, a mix of the two. Uh, you can create as many as you want here at Castos. I want to walk you through that process, help you understand what it's like to get started. I'm going to click on new podcast here in our dashboard. If you're a brand new user, this is the screen that you're presented with right after you register for an account at Castos. And we're presented with uh, step one, which is titling our podcast and giving it a description. Like everything else throughout this walkthrough, it can change. Uh, it's not set in stone. So if you want to change your title later on or your description, add to it, remove it, it's okay. You can change all of the stuff that we're uh, working towards today. The, the whole point of it is to create what's known as a valid RSS feed. We want to get you to a point where you can take your RSS feed, sort of the business card for your podcast, so you can put it on Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Google, and wherever else you want to uh, submit your show to be registered in a directory. Okay, so let's start with the title. We'll call it Matt's Podcast, and we'll give it a description. This is a great podcast about podcasting. Let's go next. Um, Cover image. This is uh, one of the things that's most overlooked, uh, technically overlooked, in the whole registering your podcast with Apple and other outlets. Uh, we have the requirements right here on the right-hand side. The image must be an exact square. It has to be through uh, between these dimensions and no more greater than 3,000 by 3,000. And we like to see a max file size of one megabyte, PNG or JPEG only. Now, of course, maybe in the future when you're watching this, requirements might have changed. But the idea is you have to get it right, uh, especially the dimensions, or Apple and other places just won't accept the feed. If you don't have a podcast cover art, we can go to our free tool called Dynamo and create your podcast right here. You can see it brought in my podcast title with my name. I'm just going to go ahead and hit download on this and just take this one uh, so that we can use as an example. So we make it easy for you to create a cover image if you don't have it. If you want to bring your own, you can upload it right here. Let's go ahead and grab the one that I just made. There it is. Beautiful. We need to select uh, a website in step three. The good news is with Castos, you have a free website that comes with your account. Uh, we have three different templates that you can choose from. You can customize colors, fonts, hero images. Really, it's a nice, quick turnkey solution for a optimized podcast website. In other words, it's not the bells and whistles of WordPress, although we do have a plugin that connects up to WordPress, but certainly would not take you, you know, anywhere near the amount of time it would take to customize a complete WordPress website. So you can see right here that uh, claim your Castos website URL. We already have one that we drop in based on the, the podcast name that you selected. It says the subdomain is available. Uh, your website would be mats-podcast.castos.com. So your podcast name, .castos.com, totally for free. You can also forward a domain or park a domain on top of this. So if you want to register your own domain and park that on top of your Castos website, totally doable, totally fine, no extra charge. So let's just hit next to continue. Categories. Categories largely were sort of um, you know, brought to you by Apple you know, from 20 years ago. Uh, the categories are all sort of industry standard at this point. There was a time where picking three of them uh, was a thing. Now you're really just picking a primary category and then picking a subcategory below that. These are, this is not something that you can define. This is not something that Castos is defining. This is what we're uh, sort of being told by the podcast industry. So I'm going to go ahead and just, I don't know, pick health and then fitness and nutrition and then hit next. Finally, on the summary screen, uh, step five is just sort of a review, a checklist, if you will, of all the things that you've selected. And if there's anything you want to edit, let's say like the language, is it explicit, owner details, things like that, you can do all of that right here on this screen. I'm going to go ahead and hit next to create my podcast. A little fun confetti appears, and it says, you're all set. Uh, well done. Your podcast is ready. Let's keep going by adding your first episode. Obviously, the most important piece next is to upload that first episode. Uh, you can't get accepted into any of the directories without at least one episode uploaded to what's known as the podcast feed. Uh, I'm going to click on add first episode now. 
This brings me right in to adding that first episode. If you have that first episode ready to go, you can give it a title, a description, just like we did with uh, the overall podcast. If you have automatic transcriptions enabled on your account, uh, we'll automatically transcribe that and show that right on your Castos uh, website. And then a lot of these other items here are fairly self-explanatory. Keywords uh, for your podcast, season, episode number, uh, episode type, if you have, if this is a full episode, a trailer episode, a bonus episode, and then if you have episode image artwork that you want to upload here. I'm going to skip this for right now because I'm not going to upload an episode. And I just want to call your attention to uh, the right-hand side. We have a, an ongoing checklist. Like if you had skipped a few points in that onboarding uh, wizard, we would notify you right here in this checklist. We'd say, hey, look, you didn't upload your cover art or you didn't pick a website. We'll remind you of what steps you're at. But if you're you know, following along and you have all that content ready, you should only have two more steps left, which is publish that first episode like we just talked about and then send it off to a directory. I'm going to click on that right now so we can see that part of it. Uh, two places or three <laughs> places kind of make it easy for us. Um, Spotify and Amazon allow us to one click uh, send your podcast to uh, Spotify and Amazon. You can do that under the settings. So it'll take you right to the uh, integrations page here where you can click a button and say send this or submit this to Spotify. Same thing with Amazon. And if you are on our middle tier hosting plan, you can connect your YouTube account and we'll automatically publish um, your podcast episodes to your YouTube account. The ones that make it a little bit more challenging and albeit the most important places are going to be Apple uh, and then Google. So Apple doesn't have a one click send your podcast to Apple. You're going to have to send uh, or create a podcast account at Apple. If you click on settings, it's going to take you to the instructions to configure your Apple account. It's a free account. If you're an already an Apple user, you already have an Apple ID. It just connects up to an Apple ID or you can create a new one. And then what you'll need to do is grab the Apple podcast ID that you eventually get and then bring it right back here and paste it into this. Now, not totally necessary right right now if you're just getting started and maybe you still have to you know, record your show. You don't need to do it yet. In fact, you can't submit yet till you have that first episode. So not a whole heck of a lot of rush on this uh, out of the gate. But all of these other places right here have all of the, we have all of the uh, help docs and videos on getting configured up to all of these accounts. This part right here, your RSS feed, this is the most important part when you're sending out to other platforms that you're copying and pasting the RSS feed for your podcast uh, right here at Castos. Like I said before, if this is the first time you've heard about RSS feeds, it's sort of like the business card that you you hand out to these distribution places to say, hey, here's here's my name, here's my podcast name, here's all the information about my podcast and where you can find me. Please take this business card, also known as an RSS feed, and that's like sort of the glue that connects Apple, Spotify, Google back to Castos where all of your episodes are hosted. Now, there's a whole bunch of other things that we can do uh, to configure our account. We can play with our websites. We can customize our websites. That's not for this video. We have other videos on doing that. I wanted to make something that helped you get started through that onboarding process so you can understand what's to come next. We have a whole bunch of features here at Castos from monetizing your podcast, setting up the websites, transcripts, configuring uh, YouTube, setting up your ConvertKit account if you're building an email list. There's a whole bunch of stuff. We have all those videos and all that documentation in our help section. If you're a customer, just go ahead and click on the little help bubble and open up a ticket with us and we'll answer that as fast as we possibly can. Go to our YouTube channel if you're watching this in our Castos app, youtube.com slash Castos. We have a ton of stuff uh, and resources and videos there. And uh, listen to our podcast, audiencepodcast.fm. Let's take a look at that. In fact, right now, let's go audiencepodcast.fm. This is actually one of the Castos uh, websites right here. You see me, you can see Stuart when you fill out all of your information with your hosts. Uh, all of this stuff is filled out, all of the share links. And then this is what an episode uh, looks like when somebody goes and clicks on it. They can play the podcast up here and then read uh, the episode transcripts down here. Fun stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to reach out to us if you have any questions. Hello at castles.com. All right, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.